Hello YouTube, it's Jim Chapman on American Air Gun Hunter and today we're heading down to Texas and I've got a new rifle. I'm taking a big bore. You know I love my big bore air rifles. been hunting with them for decades now and uh, this is one that I've been waiting for. I started shooting the hammer um, a couple years back, a few years back. Actually I, I shot the first prototypes before it was released to market and I took a nice fallow deer and some other game with it. Really liked the gun but um, as I shoot it one of the things that um, that I've wanted was a more compact version. The uh, Hammer rifle is a big, long gun. It's not too heavy, it fits well, but it's, it's long. I wanted something short, compact, easy to move around through the, the uh, brush and, and uh, to carry. So anyway, when they came out with the carbine, I got very interested very quickly. I saw the gun at the uh, SHOT Show in Las Vegas and it really, uh, really impressed me and, and couldn't wait to get my hands on it. Finally, I got it. And um, I'm actually taking it down on this uh, this hunt to Texas. I'm going to go after some javelina, which is one of my favorite games to shoot with an air gun. Uh, it's really challenging. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, I'll get this gun out on the range and uh, just sight it in, make sure that uh, that it's uh, zeroing, and then um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to go out and do some hunting. And uh, let's see how that goes. The Umarex Hammer Carbine is a powerful big bore air rifle designed for hunting. This rifle was engineered for big game hunting. It offers significant power and precision. It also features a larger tank than the original Hammer rifle, and it allows up to four full power shots. The Hammer carbine uses a 35 cubic inch carbon fiber tank. It has a maximum fill pressure of 4,350 PSI and generates velocities up to 820 feet per second with a 350 grain slug. This gun can get up to 565 foot-pounds of energy. The barrel length of the carbine is 23.25 inches, so it's significantly shorter than the, uh, the, the rifle version. And the overall length is 34.125 inches. The weight's uh, 8.2 pounds. This gun has a uh, unique um, shuttle magazine, two-shot magazine. It's a bolt action. The trigger is a single-stage adjustable. It's three uh, three-pound pull. has a really good tactical feel, especially if, as far as the big board. It utilizes a synthetic stock with AR Magpul style grips. Now one thing I found with this gun, and you'll see, uh, I didn't realize the first time I shot it, it has a kick, much more noticeable than with the uh, the rifle version. Um, but the gun is quite manageable. Once you know and you expect that kick, it's quite manageable. The ergonomics are, are very good. The pistol grip feels good. The stock uh, fits very well. On this trip, I used the Mr. Hollow Point 51 caliber. Uh, 345 grain bullet. And this gun actually seemed to be quite uh, Quite ammo tolerant, but uh, still, I found that uh, that these uh, these Mr. Hollow Point uh, slugs worked really well out of the carbine. The controls are easy to get to. The bolt action is easy to cock. Uh, it has a very light cocking mechanism, and the two-shot magazine is uh, very robust, very reliable. I haven't had a flaw with it, and now that I've shot actually quite a bit.
The hammer carbine kicked like a mule from both ends. It put this bore javelina down and I couldn't be more pleased with the way this carbine functioned.